Hello, I'm Sheila Rhodes and welcome to my kitchen. Uh, I'm sitting here with a very, very dear friend that I love so much. We have known each other, Robin, for how long? 31 years. That's a long time yeah, to, to know somebody. And Robin, I refer to Robin as um, a spirit friend. Yeah. Um, she is an encourager to many, many people. She's an encourager to me. Uh, Robin has some tremendous giftings that God has given to her, one of them being uh, she's an author and a writer and anointed author. And uh, when, I know, when I found this out and saw this about Robin, I asked her a few years ago if she would write for my blog, Sheila's Heart. So there's a lot of her postings up on my blog site. If you haven't been up there, this would, you know, you may want to check out Robin's postings. But also, she is an artist, and not just, an, just an, a normal type of artist. She's what I call a spirit artist. And um, not too long ago, it was back in the fall, Robin and myself and her husband, Pastor Steve Sheriffs, and, and mine, we were invited to a church in Ohio to, to minister. And Robin did some spirit artistry while she was there. And... When you were there, what was it in, in that setting that was that allowed you to be able to, to do the artist type of work that you did in the ministry there that weekend? Well, one of the things that I was <clears throat> so impressed with once we got there, before the conference even began, was there, an, there was an aspect of worship. And that worship created the yes. atmosphere to be able to paint yes. for me. I believe that God is so creative and it's not just out of your teaching, which is wonderful. It's not just out of the music that you hear, which is brings you to the throne room. But I believe that artistry can also be in paintings. And you and Pastor Dan had invited Steve and I to come and, and use our own giftings. And I was very fortunate yes. to be able to take a canvas in the beginning of the stage and begin to develop a painting that was actually coming out of the spirit of that conference. Yes, yes. And it was uh, the, the title of the conference, I believe, was Bridge to the Supernatural. And so the paintings, you will be seeing some of these as, as the video is taking place even now of some of the work that Robin has done. Um, in her paintings, which are so led of, of the Lord. They're just beautiful. And uh, there was another, there's been several encounters that Robin has had that's, uh, <clears throat> that has led to her spirit uh, paintings. And one of them was, tell us about the one from a pastor who is really a, a prophet, a prophetess mm -hmm. from, um, from another state and how that unfolded and what took place. Yeah, it, it, it really started out of your blog. I saw a picture um, that captivated me, and I, I actually texted you, and I text back and forth all the time, and I, and I asked you about this painting, and you said that there was a, a lady that was out also captivated by the painting. Yes. And so we first searched out the artist who actually painted this original painting, yes. and he, we could not find this person. So I said, well, I believe that I can create this painting again for her and be able to bless her with it, and she didn't know anything about it. And I really didn't know the God connections at the time. And it wasn't until I started painting, I recognized this person who not only um, spoke into your life, but yes. spoke into my daughter's life yes. over 16 years ago. And that's wow. how I see spirit-led paintings operate. When you begin to see divine appointments, how God orchestrates that. I don't orchestrate it. I wasn't looking for it. God orchestrated some yes. divine appointments there That's and right. is still doing that yes. today. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, this painting that was that was done by Robin was a very large painting, uh, beautiful frame on it. I saw it before she mailed it to the, the lady as a pastor of a church. And it now hangs in the foyer, the entranceway of their church. And um, it's just amazing what the Lord is doing through Robin with these gifts and um, it, it's a beautiful gift, and I, I wanted her to be able to share. I wanted to be able to share with you as well the gifting that's in us because it's a blessing to the body of Christ. It's a, it's a, a blessing and an encouragement. Uh, the, these paintings speak just volumes to people. Um, 
and things that they need to hear. The, the ones that she did in for this pastor and the church in Ohio are now hanging uh, in the church sanctuary. So uh, are there any others that you have done recently? Uh, I believe you're working on another mm -hmm. one for someone. Is that correct? I, actually, I, I saw, and sometimes I do this um, just out of the, the love for the person and how much they've ministered to me. But there's a, another pastor that um, I've painted a picture of a rabbi. And, um, you know, he has that on his desk, which means a lot to me because his passion is in Israel. Um, but this painting is of a rabbi who's studying late at night. And it still speaks to him. And that touches my heart. Yes. That's part of the, the joy of painting pictures um, in the spirit is how it touches people. It can bring healing to people. Yes. It can bring life to people. Paintings are such a, um, a, a place that just captivates your mind that can really be eternal in some aspects. And that's the joy of the spirit led. But the one that I'm working on right now that I'm about to do is... Um, rather large it's going to be a challenge but is of a prophet from azusa street and so that's the next painting that i'm going to be working on you know you were talking about the paintings which i'm just in it and i i have received some of robin's work i've got a few pieces around in my house um uh and i know the emotions that these paintings bring out in me i'm talking about me but Robin uh, painted a house of my home that was built back in my, I grew up in North Carolina in a little farming town. And, this, and my home where I grew up was built back in 1919. So this home, I guess, is goodness, it's in the middle 90s now. And uh, But it's my home place. It's the homestead. And I have so many memories. And the house really burned. Uh, it didn't burn completely to the ground, but it burned so badly that no one can live in it now and um, she knew the roots and the attachments emotionally that I had for my home and she said to me she said Sheila I would love to paint a picture of your home so she did that we bought a frame for it it now hangs right here in my kitchen and uh, every day when I walk through this kitchen and I'm in here hundreds of times a day I see the picture and even now speaking to you I'm seeing the picture hanging on the wall across from me and Robin did that and it's a gift sometimes things you just cannot Robin put them into words yeah. and what your your gifting is doing for people whether it's painting a home picture like you did for me mm -hmm. whether it's painting something you see on Facebook of beautiful bluebirds that that you you put on canvas which I've just seen this morning some of her work and she sells this work. It it brings, ha the feelings I got was happy and joyful and sunshine and all things that are good. You just want it to put it in your home. Yeah. And then she does the spirit painting, led totally by, by the Lord. And what a gift. I don't have that gift. I've got giftings in other areas, but not what Robin has. And I wanted to be able to bring Robin to you and to present her to you so that you could see the gift that she is and... I love her dearly, and if you are uh, want to get in contact with Robin about this spirit art or any type of artistry that she artwork that she does, what is the way that people can get in contact with you? Well, I am a Facebooker, and so any of my paintings um, are pretty much on my Facebook. So you're welcome to look at some of my um, paintings there. You can also email me at our sheriffs at gmail.com and I'd be happy to kind of have a dialogue with you and see if that's something that we could possibly work out. Yes, um, it's Robin Sheriffs, S-H-I-R-R-E-F-F-S uh, is the way you spell her last name. And also, if you needed to get in touch with me to make contact with Robin, you can do that at Sheila at destinynavigators.org and I would be able to put you directly in contact with Robin. But uh, her gifting is very, very dear and very, very special. and.